let me just go to some present. The, the, the leader of the party that represents national conservatism, this re-Christianization, is Donald J. Trump. Uh, do you understand why some of us who look at an argument for re-Christianizing society and see it uh, symbolized by this monster slash buffoon uh, who violates every single conceivable <laughs> principle of Christianity or indeed conservatism, that at some point it lacks a certain amount of credibility because it has chosen to associate itself with this person or in the case of Georgia right now, that is associating itself with someone like Herschel Walker, um, a man who thinks abortion is no big deal as long as he gets to pay for it. Uh, there is such what appears to outsiders unbelievable hypocrisy here. And or at best, if you weren't calling it hypocrisy, you call it instrumentalism. In other words, you, we're going to use this man because he's helpful to us, even though he represents in every single aspect of his entire life, personality and character, everything we supposedly despise. I mean, did you vote for this guy? Uh, no, but I, I, I don't vote in American elections. So OK, you, you, I, would you have? Yeah, the, don't. I mean, how do you how do you argue? I just I just don't. I don't need to ask me counterfactuals. Let me just tell you about uh, about uh, my uh, my experiences uh, in in Israel. Uh, Israel has been led by uh, for for you know uh, a lot of the last generation has been led led by Benjamin Netanyahu, and Benjamin Netanyahu in in uh, in uh, many respects is uh, is actually looks a lot like uh, the nationalist conservative uh, figures that, you know, that, that, uh, that, that, that we've seen elected. Um, I mean, th there is a family resemblance between uh, Netanyahu and Trump and, uh, and the Brexiteers and Georgia Maloney and Orban. Uh, and, and, you know, you, you can, you can continue. M Modi, um, th there is a family resemblance. So, some of these people are more admirable, and some of them are less admirable. Um, and uh, and I don't I don't think that uh, any any one of these individuals um, is is going to make it up to the you know to the level of the uh, the ideal national leader that uh, that uh, uh, I you know that I would want to be advocating for. But on the on the other hand, uh, yes, politics is instrumental, and it's not only instrumental, um, you know, for Marxists and liberals. It's also instrumental for 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 Christians and Jews. And uh, when I I I I worked many many years ago for uh, for Benjamin Netanyahu. This was decades ago, and um, and th th there was a uh, a well known scene in uh, in Israeli politics where uh, Netanyahu was uh, Netanyahu was. Uh, uh, told that there was a videotape of uh, him with another man's wife, and he appeared on on uh, national television. <laughs> the whole country only had one one evening news show at the time, so the entire country turned on the television in order to have uh, Netanyahu um, uh, announcing that uh, you know that he had had this this marital affair and uh, and uh, and that it was all over, and accusing his. Uh, accusing his uh, political rival of the time, David Levy, of of mafia tactics by having recorded him secretly. And it, it, I, look, you should just know this about uh, the story. This story is not about Netanyahu. It's about me. I I I picked up the phone and I called my rabbi, and I told him um, my I, I said, look, I I have to quit. I'd been you know working closely with him for 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 a number of years, and uh, and I. I told my rabbi, I can't do this. I, I I can't do it. I can't be sitting here when he's you know on television talking about you know talking about what he's doing and what he's accusing and all of these things. I can't do it. I can't continue. And my rabbi said, "Look, your your problem is that you do not you do not understand the the Talmud's view on politics." And the Talmud's view on so I said, "Pray tell tell me what what it is." And what he said was um, that. Uh, the, the a famous saying of the rabbis, Iftah kedor, bedor, keshmuel bedor, that Jephthah in his generation is like Samuel in his generation. Jephthah, of course, is the is is is, is a, a kind of semi-barbaric 
uh, figure uh, is his parent, a mother is a prostitute, his, his friends are criminals, and he saves sa- saves Israel, and 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 then to thank God goes and 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 ritually sacrifices, kills his own his own daughter. All right, and you can easily say what this is what Scripture holds out. That's the kind of you know re- leader of a of a religious country. And of course, the the answer is no. The rabbis say that in his generation, Jephthah is the best that they could find, just as Samuel, who is really a, a, a pious and godly man in a different generation, is the best that they could find. Uh, the, I mean, come on. No, Eric. not come, come on. on. This, uh, look, this, look, look, I'm look. sorry. This, you, what, this man is, this uh, man is uh, singularly uh, uh, appalling at every you, level. You asked me a direct question. Now, I, I'm, okay. I'm giving you, you and I were talking, we were having a a, a good time, and by the way, I, I I really did appreciate the things that that we agree about about uh, skepticism and tolerance and so on. Part of part of the same image. You don't have to agree with me, but I'd like you to hear this. Part of the same approach is pragmatism, and pragmatism means that you do with what it is that you have. That doesn't mean that you that you settle for it. It doesn't mean that you that you uh, raise any of these uh, political figures you know, to the level of, of godly men if they're not. But if you are going to have a, a winning Christianity or Judaism, that winning Christianity or Judaism is going to be pragmatist. And that means that it's going to have all sorts of things that are going to be reasonably considered to be hypocrisy about it. And that's politics. 